guys, this is Jenny from Fishbowl Sport. I just wanted to show you some of the really cool things with the new version 2020.2, or at least things that I think are very, very cool. So um, I'll start with my favorite, because uh, I always have my dessert first. Um, audit Trail. This is a plugin. It's free integrations and plugin you get to this thing um, you can install audit trail as you can see that I've already installed it and um, you basically push the button that says install which is like this green one and then you have to reset your fishbowl server um, once uh, you have installed it to get the uh, the use of it but basically what the audit trail is going to do is that it's going to show you what's happened to your sales orders purchase orders or work orders this is a question that we get in support quite often uh, people call up and say I've no idea why this price is there why did we charge them this what uh, what happened here who picked this stock um, all that kind of stuff so um, I'll show you how it works as I said, once you've installed the audit trail one in your sales order, purchase orders and work order modules, also in your parts and product modules, you'll get a little thingy, a little button that says audit. What that will do, if you press this order button, you come in here and you go, who's charging 1525? Um, for this one. You press this little audit trail here and what it will do, unfortunately I'm only one user so um, here my user is admin but let's say you guys are using your users as you should be and only logging in as your users, you'll see the different user names here of what's done here. Uh, it'll tell you what field has changed um, and here it'll tell you what the old value was and what it was replaced with. So at this point, the admin, me, um, changed it from an estimate to issued. Okay. At this point, admin changed the unit price from 1425 to 1525. All right. So that's kind of how it works. It's um, it's a really good tool for. Uh, traceability on who's doing what on your sales order is also who's charging what is a fantastic way to keep a um, uh, an overview of what's going on. This is what it looks like in the purchase order module. Uh, same thing, little audit button. Here again you can see um, uh, I changed uh, the quantity here for instance from one to six. Um, I changed the status uh, from issued or entered to partial, which means it's been received. Um, I issued it, I changed the unit cost, blah, blah, blah. Um, so that's a really fantastic in the work order. Same thing, looks like an uh, order trail. I'm not sure what I've done changes here. Yes, I want to change. Okay, so here again, um, you can see what I've done. Um, and what the new values were in the work order trail. Same thing on the part in the product, um, which is also quite important if you're looking at who's changed a unit or measure or anything like that. It's not so much about pointing fingers, it's more about visibility on what's happening to your data. So that's really, really good. Hope you like it as much as I do. Um, another thing which is really cool, uh, and it's a new button, it's this little baby here. It's called the cancel button. So let's say you've picked and you've packed a sales order, it's sitting as packed, and your customer calls in and says, I don't want it anymore. You've already packed it. Normally what you would have to do is void the pack, void the the pick, unissue the sales order, um, put it as a status possibly avoided or um, whatever it is, delete it. Um, but it doesn't give you a visibility of, of cancelled orders, for instance. Um, perhaps you would like to see how many times this customer does this to you or um, perhaps you would like to see. So what we have created is a new status of cancelled. And what this does is let's say your order is sitting as packed, right? Here, your customer calls rather than going through, finding it in shipping, uh, unpicking it, all of that, you, you cancel. Are you sure you want to cancel? Yes, you are. 
Okay, so what happens is that your status changes to cancelled, which means that you will always see this um, this one as a cancelled order. You will be able to see that that uh, order has been cancelled in the past. What it also does is it unpacks it and it unpicks it, which is fantastic. So it puts the stock back into stock um, and it cancels the order. And if you can now search for cancelled orders here, um, and you'll be able to see it. You'll also be able to see it under the customer. So that is a really cool thing, um, especially not having to um, unpack and unpick. Um, unfortunately, if the order is fulfilled, as always with Fishbowl, if a transaction has been sent across to your accounting system, you no longer can change it and therefore you can't cancel it. The ability to cancel is there if you've packed it, not if you've shipped it. Okay, so that's, that's those two things which are really, really cool. All right, another thing which I absolutely love um, is uh, the new duplicate function. So um, again, this is something we get called about a lot of the time. Um, I wish I had a massive sales order here to show it to you, but let's say you have a huge sales order and you need to duplicate this. So as I mentioned before, if you've fulfilled something and need to make a change on it, it's already gone across to your accounting system. Most of you will be uh, aware of that you're not able to change this sales order. What you need to do is create a credit return for it. When the sales order is 153 lines, it does become a, a bit of an issue because when you duplicate a sales order, you then has to change the type you had to change the type manually from sale to credit return. However, what they've now come up with is this duplicate. What you can do is you can choose a sales order to duplicate it as a credit return. And what it will do is it will automatically put that credit return status on your sales order, which is really cool because it stops you from having to go through line by line and change it from type sale to credit return. There are some other really cool things in um, in uh, the new version of Fishbowl, um, but what I would do if I were you is go into the, I'm just going to bring them over to the screen, the release notes for 2020. Point two, and it'll show you all the things and have a little squeeze uh, at the 2020.3. Uh, obviously, the details are not out yet, but I am I'm looking forward to that one. It's going to have some pretty cool new users in it. Um, if you use Fishbowl Go, um, this version as well, unfortunately, I don't have a connection to Fishbowl Go directly. Um, however, if you uh, if you do use Fishbowl Go, you'll be very excited to see that you have now got a sales order module in Fishbowl Go and you'll be able to create sales orders using Fishbowl Go, which is also really cool. And this time I'm really excited about all the new things that are coming out and how stable and great this version is. So go ahead and update if you haven't already. Join maintenance if you haven't already um, and give me a call if you've got any questions at all. Alright, see you guys. Hi guys, Mike from Fishbowl here. Uh, just going to show you a few of the new features in Fishbowl Go. Uh, with Fishbowl Go you can now uh, view, edit and create sales orders. You can see the new icon down in the bottom left hand corner there. Uh, open the module uh, and you will see a list of all your sales orders. Uh, here you can click into the item or scan the barcode on the top of a printed version of the sales order uh, and as you'll see there's a lot of information that is uh, included in a normal sales order so that's nicely hidden away in these expanding menus here so you can uh, expand that expand the items to see a list of the items on the order uh, and a nice little summary down the bottom to edit an existing order you can hit the pencil at the top it will open this window here. So the first tab is to do with the customer. Uh, the second uh, tab is to do with the items. Uh, so here you can come in and add a new item or a note or a discount. Uh, you can scan the barcode on the top of the product. 
and add the item. Uh, pricing rules do come through to uh, this module, of course. So if a customer has a special price on, on the item you're adding, uh, that will be added at their price. Uh, and once you've finished adding or editing the items, hit the save icon up the top, and those changes have now been saved. Uh, go back to your list of sales orders that's sitting there ready to go. Uh, to create a new sales order, simply use the uh, add icon or the plus icon at the top. Uh, you can enter the customer's uh, details, add the items onto the order, adjust the pricing if necessary. Add another item. Add it. Uh, and save the order. Once you've saved, it will take you to the screen here where you can again edit or issue the order or delete, of course, or quick fulfill. Uh, that will now be showing in my list of sales orders, order number 33, and it will also now be showing in my pick screen, ready for the warehouse to pick and pack and ship, order number 33, uh, ready for them to pick, pack and ship, or pick, pack and deliver with a proof of delivery signature. Thanks guys, that's a quick little overview of the new sales order module in Fishbowl Go.